The capsule toy vending machine known as Gachapon is a unique part of collectible culture in Japan due to the accessibility of its low price point as well as its diversity of prizes. How did the machine come to be and what is the story behind placing prizes in plastic capsules? For around 100 to 500 yen, the Gachapon dispenses a prize at random based on the vending machine's theme in a plastic capsule. The name is onomatopoeic, with gacha referring to the sound of the cranking action of the vending machine, and pong being the sound of the capsule landing in the tray. They are found everywhere, in front of convenience stores and in arcades, but there are also storefronts dedicated to the machine, with rows and rows stacked on top of one another, each with a different prize theme. Although the prize themes are most associated with anime and pop culture related collectibles, they can literally be of anything. Currently, in the top 50 Gachapon prizes, there's the expected figurines of popular anime characters and Disney princesses, but there's also the quirkier prizes like miniature kitchen appliances, realistic bread keychains, as well as a metalworking toy version of the Gachapon machine itself. The concept of coin operated prize dispensing machines date back to the 1930s with five and dime shops in America. However, Yuzo Shigeta, now known as Gacha Gacha Ojisan, or the grandfather of Gachapon, is credited as the originator of the modern prize vending machine. He introduced it to the Japanese market in 1965 through his toy company, Penny Shokai. According to Shigeta, the first successful gacha prize was a plastic skull head he brought in from Hong Kong. He converted a gumball machine he imported from the United States and placed the prizes in small spherical plastic capsules. By making the skull head toy only 10% of the prizes possible and mixed in with an assortment of other plastic charms, he introduced the now common concept of prize rarity, which encouraged the neighborhood kids to spend their pocket money for a chance to win. The gachapo industry exploded in Japan in the late 70s, when the name was trademarked by toy company Bandai, and started using popular trademark characters like SD Gundam and Kinikuma. This was soon followed by other popular toy manufacturers like Tomi and Kayodo. Nowadays, the term gacha is so common that it is used interchangeably in Japanese with the concept of blind prizes or loot boxes like in MMOs and mobile games. The size of the plastic capsules have also increased over time due to the fear of accidental ingestion. As of 2008, the capsules must have perforations and a diameter of at least 31.8 millimeters. Recently, many companies are also rethinking the materials of the capsules to be more environmentally friendly. With the low price point, the high quality of the figurines, and the pure quirkiness of some of the prizes, the gachapon is a fun and addicting part of collectible culture in Japan.